Well, government officials in Colombia are cracking down on pig owners and putting bacon behind bars. You see a Newman explain. For years, they were simply regarded as everyone's favorite meal. Until one day, the people of La Boquilla awoke to find they'd been invaded by pigs. Robust mothers with hungry little piglets, lovesick couples, dirty loners, rebellious adolescents. They love to bathe at the beach. They eat everything they can find. And their manners, simply piggish, of course. They defecate wherever they are, says this man. Some people don't notice and lay down on the beach. And when they get up, they're a mess. When you're walking along the beach, you have to watch every step because their filth is everywhere. As a result, the tourist industry of this Colombian Atlantic coast town has gone, well, to the pigs, chased away by this unsavory spectacle. But when a bus turned over after a pig crossed its path, authorities decided enough was enough. This may be the world's first and only pig prison. The El Corso jail has lots of cells and high security. The pig that's found astray is caught and brought here, says the caretaker. If the owner wants it back, he pays a 500 peso fine and gets a warning. Many of the pig's parents, though, call this a violation of their civil rights. I don't think they have any business putting them in jail. Everybody has a right to have a little pig. So, to alleviate the pain of separation, the jail has allocated a visiting room. The owner can come daily if he wants and bring the pig food, says this man. The pig prison, which cost $3,000, has become quite controversial. This woman thinks the pigs are getting a bum rap. The problem is the people who throw all their garbage on the beach. If it weren't for the pigs, this place would be even filthier. Better the garbage than what the pigs leave behind, retorts this man. And while some argue, others, like Don Edbert, are taking advantage. Authorities say they'll pay 200 pesos for each stray pig that's brought to them. That's a deal too good to refuse. Lucia Newman, CNN, Bogotá.